Hi everyone! Today I want to talk to you guys about a manga that I don't hear about very often and I would like to change that because I think it is a great series. So the series I'm talking about is Oya Yubi Hime Infinity. This series is complete in six volumes. It is out of print but I looked it up today and it looks like you can get all of the volumes for a round cover price um, on eBay, Mercari, or Amazon. So this series follows these two main characters, Kanako and Tsubame. Kanako dedicates her life to helping her sister Mayu become the pop idol Maya. She doesn't care about making friends in school and she doesn't really care about her future as long as her sister becomes this famous idol, movie star, etc. Maya is actually very shy but with the help of her sister, she is able to become an idol. On the other hand, Tsubame dedicates his life to finding his soulmate from his previous life. He has memories of this previous life where he and the person that he loved committed a lover's suicide and to find each other in the next life, they tattooed a butterfly on each of their thumbs. So to find his soulmate, he decides to start giving the girls at his school manicures and he wants to give every girl at his school a manicure so that he can look at each of their thumbs to see if they have the butterfly tattoo on their thumbs. So of course we find out that Kanako has this butterfly tattoo on her thumb and you would think, oh that's the end of the story. They're each other's soulmate, they're gonna be in love because they found each other again, but it's not that simple. Throughout the series you find out that there are actually seven people total with these butterfly tattoos and all of them have memories of their past life. And following all of their stories, you kind of have this mystery of whose memories link to who else's memories because some of them even have the same names as each other in their past lives. I really love this series because there are a lot of twists and turns that happen throughout. It's got a lot of great characters who are all very unique to each other and you have all sorts of relationships that happen between all of the characters throughout the series. I think it is a highly underrated series. I reread it recently and I still absolutely love it. If you've read this, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to talk about it. And if you haven't read it, I highly recommend picking it up and reading it. I am planning on doing more videos like this where I talk about series that I don't hear other people talking about very often, but I don't know what to call it. So if you guys have ideas, let me know in the comments below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.